Hey everyone, it's Tragic again with another lot from Goodwill. This one was about 400 bucks for 15 pounds. Let's take a look from the Goodwill of Southern California. Um, some of the oversized Planeswalker cards from the uh, Commander sets. Neat. Um, maybe we can get in here and find some better stuff. Uh, mostly commons and uncommons in this page. Um, some weathered up stuff, so we're hoping to get something really good to overcome that condition problem. In here you do see a couple of drowned catacombs, uh, which are nice. I like to see rares. Uh, here's a uh, clifftop retreat. Um, so we're really hoping that um, left in amongst this Innistrad era stuff are um, some things that will trend a little higher. Very encouraging to see rares. And these are pretty good rares, the uh, <coughs> buddy check lands left behind. So who knows what else is in here. And without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, I got my sneaky snake. And a nice little box here of assorted cards, it says on the side. You never know what you're going to get with these. Whoops. Oh. All right, let's take a look. Price to beat is about 400 bucks. Can we make it? Um, Eternal Witness is a good start, even though it's pretty banged up. We're gonna throw it on there real quick, though, and see where it gets to. <clears throat> Fifth on Eternal Witness, $4.99. Uh, and as usual, I know it's not going to go for that much, but that's what we're going to leave up there as a total for now. It is a rare. Wow, is that really wrong about that? Lightning Cloud is 442 as a rare. That's cool. Carpaline Gorge. I forget what this um, land cycle is called, but look at that art. Beautiful stuff. So, almost 10 bucks. We'll throw it over there. Hedron crab, these mean old crabs. Well, it's not that one, hold on. The Zendikar Hedron crab, really? $10.48 is what this is up to already? Man, 
Landfall is quite a thing. Well, hopefully we find some more of those. Oh, hey, Winds of Change. This is actually a pretty decent card right here. Fifth edition. Winds of Change. Fifth edition is 1928. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good right there. That's kind of the big hit right now. And we are one quarter of the way to breaking even. So let's go here. Nature's Lore. There we go. That should be okay. Six bucks. It can go into that pile. Oh my gosh, there we go. Sarah Ascendant. M11. $21. Boom, so there's some pretty decent stuff in here. That's great. Some stuff from Legends. Kobolds of Kerr Keep. That's awesome. 747. Crookshank Kobolds. Well, again, it's not a flooded strand. Crookshank 395. Kobold Drill Sergeant. That's great. Wow, awesome. 1760 for the Drill Sergeant. That's awesome. Quicksilver Amulet, by itself seven bucks as a foil. It is 15 bucks. That's a good one. Oh wow, are you kidding me? Ink Moth Nexus, very nice. Wow, very cool, $45.99 for the Ink Moth. Um, pretty good shape, it's actually got a little bit of stuff on it, so. That is real nice, Black Sun Zenith. We get into some decent stuff here, that's the different version. Mirrored in 756, all right. Foil Core Prowler, I don't think, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Another Ink Moth Nexus. But being 45 again, yeah, that's great.
Oh my gosh, speaking of decent value, are you kidding me? Right, I was just saying how they let, they didn't leave behind many mythics. Well, there's a decent one right there. So definitely got some play to it. It's probably like moderate play. Wow, I was not expecting that. That's great, 71 bucks. Such a good card now. Titan Forge. <clears throat> Parallel Lives. 54. 99. In really nice shape. This is looking really good. So we've broken even now. Um, and we're a third of the way through the box. So love it. And Titan Forge. No way. Another one. Dude, this is the best. This is the actual best right here. 54. This keeps getting better. Oracle of Moldaya. Another amazing card. 27 bucks. So the good stuff pile is getting kind of big there. Oh, ho, ho. oh, that's pretty cool in foil. I don't know if I've ever seen a foil rooftop storms. Um, very cool card. Um, there's a janky combo that just um, came in with a, one of the last sets that got uh, printed. So maybe the foil is worth $17. This is looking real nice, I gotta say. Nothing big. Grim Grin. Hey, so there are mythics in here. Uh, and at least we're getting to some more of them here. Grim Grin is five bucks or so. And another one. Oh my gosh. So, whenever these were put away back in Innistrad era, Parallel Lives was, of course, not nearly what it is now. But it is 50 some bucks now. Dude, all right, play set of parallel lives, and then Temple of the False God is just almost there. Four parallel lives is half of what I paid for this Eldrazi Monument. Sure, why not? This one's a little. That one's definitely seen some abuse. Ancient Zig. I like this card a lot too because I play slivers, and it's perfect for. A sliver tribal deck. Kind of leftovers from a collection. Like, there's there's been a lot of decent stuff in here. It's definitely not been picked clean, which is so good for me. Goblin grenade is good, <clears throat> and another quicksilver amulet. Um, but I wouldn't call this like it's really the best best stuff out of a big collection. Um, more like kind of the stuff that wasn't used. Oh, that's cool. A seventh edition foil. Planes. Wow, that's great. Um, yeah, definitely a little messed up at the top, but and it's just a basic land, but still a seventh edition foil is pretty special, actually.
Okay, cool. And Zarin Ruins is a reserve list card from Homeland. So, very odd to see some older cards just thrown in. The original owner maybe traded for something, and you know, was he trying to build around this for something? Choose a creature type. Creatures of that type do not untap during their controller's untap phase. So it's an interesting, unique effect, um, especially in red. That's kind of more a blue effect um, or white. So it's a it's an okay card. Okay, so here are the Drowned Catacombs, which I had seen in the pictures of the listing. Steph, again, not a flooded strand. Um, the M12 Drowned Catacomb, $6.99. And I think there was at least one more and maybe some other of these check lands in here somewhere. So um, that's good. And who knows what else? Decim oh, there we go. So Decimator Web is really nothing. But here, some Mythics left over, Massacre Worm. Little bit of play, um, and it's been reprinted now, but it's still a $5 card. Royal Elemental. Wow, is it really 1058? Whenever a land enters the battlefield under control, you may gain control of target creature for as long as you control Royal Elemental. Why, wow, you could really go to town on your opponent's creatures with that, so. Decent. Visible stalkers were under a buck, but I pull those. Mind control, so there's a theme of getting control of your opponent's stuff, and here's a Phantasmal Image. Pretty good card right there. 1350, excellent, so. This uh, definitely is paying off. Army of the Damned, excellent. Oh, and Endless Ranks, these are great. So there, here's the zombie stuff. Here come the zombies. Uh, Army of the Damned, about three bucks, something like that. Endless Ranks of the Dead. Twelve dollars. There we go. I'm reading Horde we had found before. Rooftop Storm. So being 897, the non fall. We had found a foil one earlier. Clifftop Retreat. That's an. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's really interesting. <laughs> So Clifftop Retreat I had seen in the listing photo and there were the way they had laid them out they didn't lay them out very good. You couldn't see what was directly behind the Clifftop Retreat. You couldn't see a lot of what was underneath where the, the drowned catacombs were. That you're kidding me right now. Okay, hold on. Clifftop Retreat 728 Verdant Catacombs and Sulfur Falls. So we're into the land now. Verdant Catacombs 48 bucks. Sick. Uh, in great shape. It's in great shape. Sulfur Falls. Five bucks. And that's it for the land. Nope. And more drowned catacomb. And summits. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about.
archivist and visions. 450 visions of beyond was like only a buck for a long time and now it is going up there's the ultimate master version and the 12 or 11 bucks amazingly good time reversal mythic right there four bucks mind unbound under my 90 cent threshold Flooded strand. I'll take that. Excellent. Some cons. Fetch lands here. Oops. Sea clouds now. Wow, this flooded strand is 40 bucks now? Amazing. Haven't they reprinted it since then? Just in the expedition. So, wow. Back to Innistrad. And Whirlwind. Closter at Highborn. Oh, Blood Gas. Excellent. Five bucks for the Highborn. The Blood Gas. Two of these. Ooh, and a Bloodline Keeper. This is into a Vampire deck. This is amazing. Blood Gas. Been reprinted. The original is 1446. There's two of them. I will take it. A Bloodline Keeper is pretty good now. Yeah, 15. Five bucks, one, two of those.
Another gold card from Commander Legends. Cigar is aid. Wow, really? Eldritch Man. Commander Legends. A $12 card. Just donate it. Unbelievable. Wild Ricochet. Kiora Emblem, let's just check. Hey, wow, that's more than, way more than I expected. Five bucks for the Kiora Emblem, that's really cool, actually. Back to guilds. Rhythm of the Wild. Well, it's out of standard, so it's probably not worth. Okay, glad I glad I looked. Four bucks, still a good card.
All right, almost done with this batch. There's a lightning bolt. Two, three, four lightning bolts. That's kind of nice. Bird of Paradise, very nice. Well, Gideon Jura, okay, there is some decent stuff right at the end of the Bakura Blade World. Great. Gideon Jura. The dollar hero. 666. And some Crusaders. One, two, three of those. That is it for this collection of cards. That was actually really, really good. Pulled out some pretty decent stuff here. Some more amazing stuff than I was at, ever expecting from this. So, yeah, this is crazy. Uh, very happy with this purchase. Um, yeah, I know the condition is not perfect on hardly any of this stuff, but definitely added up. So. There you have it, my latest call from Goodwill. I want to thank you all for watching, so make sure to smash that like button and uh, check out my other videos. Tragic MTG, we'll catch you later on the next one.